Hello everyone, welcome to the DPB Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Bondis. This is episode number 224 for August 24th, 2021. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. Welcome back to the show, everyone. A little bit of a light week for pin news. Uh, so let's just start off with housekeeping. I have two things to mention today. The first one is our August giveaway is ending here in a couple of days on Thursday. If you haven't had a chance to enter, head over to DisneyPinsBlog.com slash giveaways for your chance to win five of the Beauty and the Beast portrait pins from Loungefly. And then our second thing for housekeeping is the Pin Cella pin event is coming up here very soon in about a week. I will be out in California at the Disney Pins Blog booth at the Pinchella event. Uh, be sure to stop by and say hi. We are going to have a lot of giveaways at the Disney Pins Blog booth. A lot of really nice Artland pins as well. And it's completely free to enter, so no purchase necessary. Stop by the booth, throw a ticket in, and uh, you might win a prize. All right, let's head into the pin news. First, we're gonna start off with Box Lunch. They had a few new pin releases this past week. The first one is the Disney Princesses Grayscale Moments Blind Box Pin Set by Loungefly. This is a pretty popular blind box set. It uh, features eight different pins. The characters include Snow White, Pocahontas, Belle, Ariel, Mulan, Tiana, Aurora, and Cinderella. Retail price for that is $9.90 per box, and there's one pin per box. Next, there are two new Fox and the Hound pin releases at Box Lunch. The first one is a Fox and the Hound logo spinner pin, which has Todd and Copper on it. And then the second one is a Todd and Copper chippy style playtime pin. Both of those are from the recycled metal collection at Box Lunch. And then the last one is a new Winnie the Pooh pin. Uh, this is part of the Autumn collection at Box Lunch. You have Pooh Bear holding a basket of apples, and uh, Piglet is next to him as well, holding an apple. This is a lounge fly pin. Retail price is $9.90. And then next, we'll head over to Hot Topic. They had a few new pin releases as well. Uh, the first one is a Tiana pin from Princess and the Frog, and it features Tiana's palace. I know some people were complaining about her eyes, though. Looks like she has red eyes in the uh, artwork. But um, yeah, this is another lounge fly pin, $8.90 for this one. And then Hot Topic had a few new Halloween pin releases. The first one is a Lilo and Stitch blind box. It features six different pins. You have three with Stitch and three with Angel, and uh, they are dressed for Halloween. Retail price for that blind box is $8.90 per pin. Then they also had a Winnie the Pooh Trick or Treat Halloween pin. You have uh, like a baby style Pooh Bear here holding a lollipop and it looks like a little pumpkin basket. That one is $8.90 as well. Next we'll head over to Loungefly. Their uh, Tuesday pin release this week features Hocus Pocus and it is a slider pin. This one released on Tuesday, August 24th. It's a limited edition of 1000 with a retail price of $25. Up at the top, you have the Sanderson sisters that slide back and forth on their little uh, broomsticks. And then below is a spooky graveyard scene. Next up is Shop Disney. They did a uh, pretty exciting pin release. Uh, these are actually coming to Disney Parks soon as well, but it's a brand new collectible pin pack. And uh, this one features character themed coffee cups. This was very popular whenever I uh, posted it yesterday. It released on Monday, August 23rd. There are 16 different pins in total for this collection, uh, but there are five randomly selected per bag, and the retail price is $27.99 for the five pins. Lots of different designs here, and I think one was mislabeled at uh, Shop Disney. I think they uh, were saying it was Rapunzel, but I believe it's really Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. All right, next up is Disney Studio Store Hollywood. They had a surprise pin release yesterday on Monday, August 23rd, and it's called the Aloha Pack, which uh, features different Disney characters in pineapples. The first pack included a few other things like a notepad and I think stickers and some cookies, but included in that Aloha Pack uh, were three pins, 
They feature a Stitch, Angel, and Lilo, all in the pineapples, limited edition of 400. The retail price for that pack was $95. And then there were individual pins as well, featuring Baby Moana, Pua, and Hey Hey, all in the pineapples. And again, those are limited edition of 400 with a retail price of $22.95. All of those pins sold out very quickly. Next up is Disney Employee Center. And uh, this week they have a Hercules pin release. There are six different pins featuring Baby Hercules and Baby Pegasus, Hercules and Phil training, Hercules and Hydra, Hades and Pain and Panic, Meg and Pegasus, and then Hercules with Meg and Phil. All those are limited edition of $2.50 with a retail price of $24.95 each. They released this Thursday, August 26th at 7 a.m. Pacific time. Next, we'll head overseas to Disney Store Japan. They had a new Winnie the Pooh pin set release. Uh, this one is called Winnie the Pooh featuring Paw and Order. Kind of like a Western style Winnie the Pooh set. <clears throat> there are five different pins. You have the uh, like the little share with a badge that has the logo on it that reads Winnie the Pooh from Paw and Order. And there's a piglet pin, a tigger pin, Eeyore, and of course, Pooh Bear. Retail price for that is 6,050 yen. All right, and now for Disney Parks in America. First up is a new Halloween light up lanyard at Disney Parks. I uh, spotted this one at the World of Disney Store at Disney Springs. Disney comes out with these every year. They usually just change up the lanyard style. I think last year was like a gray scale. And uh, this year is a very bright orange. It has pumpkins and ghosts and bats on the lanyard. And at the bottom is the standard Mickey Mouse jack-o'-lantern uh, pendant, which lights up. Retail price for this lanyard is $17. And that's available on both coasts, Disneyland and Walt Disney World. And now for the new limited edition pin releases this week at Disney Parks. Very light week, just one at Disneyland and one at Disney World. First up is the Walt Disney World pin, which is a continuation of the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge slider collection. Uh, this one features the Monkey Lizard and Loath Cat. At the bottom it reads Creatures. And uh, yeah, you can just slide that back and forth. Limit edition of 3000 with the retail price of $19.99. And uh, this is the fifth pin in this Star Wars slider collection. Um, that released on Tuesday, August 24th at Walt Disney World. But this is a shared pin collection, so it will be at Disneyland soon as well. And then moving over to Disneyland for their one pin release this week. It's a uh, continuation of the Cuckoo for Disney pins uh, collection, the little uh, cuckoo clocks. The eighth pin features Jungle Cruise. And I love this pin. I think it's a uh, beautiful design. Very bright and colorful. Limited edition of 3000 with a retail price of $19.99. Again, this one released on Tuesday, August 24th as well. And that's a Disneyland exclusive. I know Walt Disney World is behind on a lot of pin releases. I uh, still haven't received the Clio Terrarium pin in Florida or all of those Haunted Mansion Funko Pop pins. So uh, yeah, I'm just keeping an eye out. Hopefully they release here in the next couple of weeks. All right, so yeah, I think that's gonna do it for episode 224 of the DPB podcast. Like I said, light week for pin news. Uh, but be sure to check out DisneyPinsBug.com or DisneyPinNews.com uh, for the latest. All right, hope everyone has a great rest of your week. Thank you very much for listening and watching. See ya.